Hey, what's going on everyone? Moose here, Air Guns of Michigan, and today we have the 457 from Rich Dudek out at Air Gun Revisions. This is a absolute crazy um, gun to shoot. Think about this, 457 and a pistol? Come on, man. I got it topped with a uh, Hawk. Nothing personal, Rick. I didn't mean to say, come on, man, like I was Rick. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Um, so I'm shooting the 202s. I have shot uh, 350 Nielsen's out of this. It is absolutely a beast. Um, I think the most foot pounds that I got out of this, and just so that you guys all know, I actually had this at the range, had my chronograph running, um, shot a video where I'm ringing steel at 100 yards. Kid you not, this is God's honest truth. And, um, I brought it home, transferred the video over to my computer, and in a haste of deleting stuff to make room in my folder, because I, I was saving all my videos, I accidentally deleted the video that I shot. So, this is a new one. Uh, I don't have uh, my chronograph with me, but I can tell you that with the 202s, um, we were making about 164 ish 170 foot pounds and i could have made it hotter i could have but i was just you know having a good time with the 350s we were real close to 200 foot pounds of energy so we're sitting out here we've got steel down at about 25 yards i'm gonna go ahead and put the camera behind me so that you guys can see me shooting and ringing steel um and uh we'll go from there so let's get this thing back here and uh let me get it level I try to get low. There we go. So you can see the steel plate sitting down there at 25. There's the, the gun. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let this puppy fly. So these are available at um, Air Gun Revisions. Uh, reach out to Rich Dudak if you're interested. And uh, let's get this puppy swing. Yeah, I tried to aim a little low, not thinking where it was going to go. So, in just a second, we'll get her on there. I was just doing it before, so. But, uh, what a freaking awesome gun. There we go. Steel. Let's get some more steel. The scope for this gun is actually sighted in at 100. So, I'm trying to hold my red dot where I think it's going to hit. And, uh, so it's kind of hit or miss. But uh, what an amazing gun. I do have it tethered. You know, for those of you guys that think tethering is bad, it's not. And uh, just an absolute, man, this gun is so much fun to shoot. It, uh, you're not really ready for what it does when you pull that trigger, but man, is it cool. So, very cool. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and drain this uh, tether system. So for those of you guys that are like, you know, I like to see how it shoots when it's untethered. Um, I can tell you right now, it only gets about, um, it only gets about one shot per fill. Um, you know, one solid shot. Um, so being that, uh, you know, it's just kind of what it is. You know, I don't really you know know what to really say other than it's really only one shot so by tethering the tank all i'm doing is telling it i want the same consistency that i would get with the one shot so let me uh let me pull this off and uh get this thing up here and in front of the camera we'll put our cap back on man this thing is so well made too guys it really is let me uh swing this around let's uh get our screen back on there you go so there you have it this is the 457 Cothran uh, this is his parts but um, he, he only deals now with uh, air gun revision so it's really the only place that you can get a hold of one of these now um, is through uh, rich at uh, air gun revisions he and he already builds them you know to me that's that's just awesome you know his his abilities to um, you know, build these air guns is second to nobody. Uh, you know, Rich has been a long time, um, 
you know, tinkerer and modifier of Benjamin Crossman stuff and other guns. So, you know, I mean, and now he's, he actually works with uh, Crossman. So, you know, and Benjamin. So, um, you know, if they trust him, I trust him. And I can tell you that this gun, I have probably literally shot, at this point, probably 150 rounds through this, this particular gun. And um, like I said, this one is still available through Air Gun Revisions. Um, and uh, you can reach out to Rich and just say, hey, I want that, that one that Moose was shooting. And uh, he can get it all set up and ready to ship to you and package it out the door. So the Hawk Scope's mine, but other than that, everything else is his. Uh, fully adjustable as well for the hammer. So, you know, if you're shooting that heavier stuff, you know, and you want to maintain a little bit more, you can turn your hammer in a little bit, you know, turn it out. Um, safety is, uh, you know, your standard you know, push through, you know, uh, safety, which is perfect for me, honestly, because it's simple and it works very effectively. So, but to all the machining on these are just absolutely flawless. This, this whole setup is just beautiful guys. It really is. This would make a great, um, I, you name it. I mean, deer. Yeah, absolutely. Deer at 25, 30, 40 yards. Oh yeah. Yep. Without a doubt. Um, you know, I mean, it's accurate at 100. Like I said the other day, you know, me and my buddy Kevin were out at the range ringing steel at 100 yards with it, uh, even with the 350s. So, um, you know, definitely capable. You know, would I shoot a deer at 100 yards with this? No, I would probably limit myself to 40 yards. I think this thing's got enough power at 25, 30, 40 yards that you could make an ethical kill. Um, but uh, also, you know, just for uh, backyard, you know, set up your tether system and, you know, hook it up and just enjoy the fact that you're shooting a 457 out of a pistol. So outside of that, with that being said, I'm Moose. This is Airguns in Michigan. Don't forget to check out Airgun Revisions and uh, we'll talk to you guys all soon. So until next time, be good to each other and God bless.